welcome to another live stream of my current series uh, showcase Orbex OpenLC Europe and I'm very glad and I'm very happy that I can show you the Tuscany region in Italy today uh, the last live stream we did was the Matterhorn in uh, Switzerland which is the heart of the Alps if you want and um, the wish was in that stream that I show you the um, Tuscany region in Italy and to show you the show you the Mediterranean coast and that's what we'll do today I've uh, uh, I've entered a direct uh, course to Florence and um, well we'll see how far we'll get and we'll do the takeoff now Oops, it's a little bit jumpy takeoff. And here we are. Uh, I'm going to turn to the sea now so that we can see the coastline. I will be switching on the autopilot now. Okay, so let's take a look around. You know what I think that um, what Orbix OpenLC really does a very very good job in is um, um, you know the, the, the Tuscany region uh, is a region where you can already um, see these kind of a little bit barren and dry landscapes in summer so um, this is what this um, catches very very well in when you fly in middle Europe in in the middle of summer you you or as you notice in the last stream in the heart of the Alps it's very green it's very uh, colorful and this landscape here you can already see that it's drier it's a little bit barren and um, you can all if you notice um, the difference of the houses that's that's amazing uh, when you fly around in the Alps you can see the the correct style of the houses when you fly around here you can see these uh, terracotta roofs which are typical typical for uh, the region and this is what uh, Orbex uh, OpenLC really does a does a damn good job in, in catching catching the moon so this is this is uh, the the coast and you can see what Orbex OpenLC also does very well is you actually have some beaches here uh, I can't really remember how this is managed in FSX standard but I I don't think that it that F6 did it that well. You can see there's a long strip of a beach going around here, and um, yeah, just like it should be in Italy, right? Okay, so we'll head north now. I'm 
another direct two. this altitude now So I think we'll make a small detour here. Uh, you know the live stream is too short for showing you all the way to Florence here so I'm going to head to the mountains a little bit. Oh, there you can see some um, sites here in Pisa, the famous tower of Pisa. So this is really beautifully done. And um, please, uh, if I'm wrong, just correct me, but I think these, these gardens here, or these fields here, they are actually wine fields. And you can see that this is a very distinct pattern of, uh, of uh, fields, and, and you won't see that in FSX uh, standard. So the more we'll, we'll head into the mountains here, the more wine fields... Uh, you will see and uh, th this is uh, and also um, olive tree fields which are these ones I think but it doesn't matter if it's um, if it's olive tree uh, fields or if it's wine fields you, you just immediately uh, see that this uh, is Italy and it's and, and, and it's not Norway so this is something that um, Orbex LC really does very well it doesn't it's it's not a, a as I 
as I'm always telling you, it's not a photo real representation of the area. It is a. Uh, it really does a perfect job in uh, catching the mood of a certain area. That's what I think it is. attention I'm, I'm just checking uh, if this fogginess in, uh, on the windscreen goes away I just opened the main vents now in the airplane and you can all already hear that uh, the sound of the, the sound of the vents this is very realistic I'm just checking if the if this fog yeah, I, I think it goes away now least a little bit and this is what I love about this plane it is so realistic they paid attention to every every little detail that you can actually think of in such a small plane and um, I've had a time where I thought yeah you know flying around in these small small airplanes in FSX was kind of a bummer to me because uh, I didn't think that it's very enjoyable in FSX to do VFR flying and uh, with the standard scenery it isn't at least in my opinion but now uh, I can really tell you with all these add-ons with all these perfect add-ons we have now with Orbex products and uh, Caronado products A2A products with this very very um, with these perfect renditions of these small VFR airplanes general aviation airplanes you can really do VFR flying in FSX, and uh, it, it, it's it's a joy to do. And, and uh, if you ha if you haven't done it yet in FSX, just uh, or even in prepared, maybe it's even better in prepared uh, because they kind of have, in some respects, a better graphic, better graphics. And uh, just try it out. Just go with. If you ask me, the best thing to do if you want to try out um, Orbex products is maybe purchase one of their uh, distinct regions just go to their uh, uh, web page which is uh, www.fullterrain.com and search for their handmade regions because that's th that's the big difference when you look at Orbex products they have their handmade regions and uh, they have their, um, let's say, FSX overhaul products. And um, the difference is in their handmade regions, they have basically uh, paid close attention to the real world and kind of hand placed almost all terrain objects and all that stuff. So this is a very realistic rendition of uh, the region. And if you want to have the full Orbex experience just purchase one of those regions and go there fly there it is in my opinion a, a perfect rendition of that area um, and then you can do some serious VFR flying it is, it is big fun to do and um, the other products that's what I'm showing you here Orbex OpenLC Europe in combination with Vector and FTX Global it's a kind of overhaul of the whole world so that you have um, a better flight simming experience uh, wherever you go and this is also very enjoyable as you can see here
So we are heading uh, into the mountains of Tuscany right now. And uh, it looks like we won't be able to cover the whole distance to Florence because then the live stream would be too long. I said it, I will. I want to do it about half an hour, three quarters of an hour. That's okay, I think. And uh, yeah, guys, I think uh, that's enough for Tuscany. And uh, if you're watching this on Twitch right now, just uh, Write me in the chat where you want to, or what region you want to see next. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just leave me a comment which uh, region you want to see next. I'm, I, I hope that I will be able to do another live stream uh, anytime soon now. And uh, until we see ourselves the next time, I wish you, as always, happy landings.